Morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. A cup of coffee in the morning and I'm ready to go. I wake up this morning and I give thanks and praise to the Most High. I just looked at myself in the mirror. I said, young boy, you living your dream. Young man, you are living your dream. Yes, I am. I am. I have a lot to be thankful for this morning. Woke up this morning. Um, I'm in a good position in life financially. I'm in a good position in life spiritually. Uh, beautiful, happy children. Um, man, so much to give thankful for. Just, just to wake up healthy this morning. Is a lot to give thankful for. And it's to be thankful for. And like I've said to my audience before, check it out, man. I work in a situation, or not a situation, but I work in an environment where I work with people who are probably not going to live much longer. They, the most they have is probably like 10 to 20 years. 20 is stretching it, max. And I look at it, and now I could go tomorrow, but I look at them and I listen to the elders I mean, 80, 90 years old, I don't think they have 20 years left. You know what I'm saying? I, it, this is the end of life. When you're when you're in your 90s, you're at the end of life. No matter how you try to slice that cake, right? And I look at them and I think, man, I have a long ways to go to get to that age. I hope I live that long. And I hope I'm prosperous over the years on the journey there, right? Because that's life. Long life and health is what we pray for and what we strive towards. Greetings this morning to all my hard-working people, all my clean-hearted, good-hearted people. My good-up, good-up people, Emma. <laughs> as we call you, yeah? My SoFlo TV audience, my SoFlo TV nation, good people. Good people. I'm trying to surround myself with good people spiritually. I told you all before, you uplift me every morning. Every time I do a morning thoughts, a lot of the mornings, you don't even know it. But I don't feel like getting up and going, but... My audience let me know, hey, so floor, it's a human thing, man, but that's what we do. We get up and we go. We put one foot before the other. We get off that bed and we get it rocking, right? And that's what we do. And that's why I say all the time I give props, manners, and respect to hardworking people, people who get up and get out and get something and don't sit around complaining or don't try to rob others for theirs. Yeah? Now, what I was going to talk about this morning... Uh, I always try to keep the morning thoughts productive, progressive, and positive. So please bear with me while I go through this real quick. This story last night about a woman, uh, of course, she's Caucasian and she's American, USA, um, white woman. She's been in connection with Jamaica for a very long time. I was told last night that she even has a business there. I don't, I don't know about her business, but I know she has a home I know she had a home there, or has a home there, um, and she's been living on the island, of course, traveling back to the U.S., living on the island for a while. The lady is in her late 70s, right? She went missing, I believe it was Saturday, and by Sunday, or Friday, and by Saturday. Anyway, she went missing recently, and say four or five days ago, and she was found yesterday in a shallow grave. The people in that neighborhood where she was found said they saw her car circling the area where she where the shallow grave was so it's but this is what i want to say though there will be more outrage and i found this very weird there is more outrage because there's more outrage at now you have dalton harris right jamaican born and bred Dalton went through some rough things in life. How do I know? Because he says so. I don't victimize victims. If a woman comes and tells me, yo, I was raped by that person, I'm not going to say, uh, you're lying. I'm going to have to hear the other person's side of the story first. I'm kind of going to ride inside with the woman until the other person gives me something to believe otherwise. You understand? Not that, um, I'm not here to dispute. If a person tells me their life story, I take it for face value until otherwise it's proven. And in Dalton's case, let's say it like this then. He came up out of rough times in Jamaica, right? I mean, a lot of us did. He came up out of rough times in Jamaica. Here he is on the international stage. My, um, the 1st of December is the finals for X Factor anyways, where I expect Dalton Harris to win. People, if him win, I'm going to pop up the place. And that's what I tell you, yeah? A Jamaican winning X Factor, that's huge. 
Go look at the payday and go look at the opportunities that's about to open for this young man. His whole life is about to change. And that's what's up. All right? Another one of my brothers is like, that? What? How, why wouldn't that be? Now, he's on this platform representing, fighting for, like he says. And I see people tear him down and say stuff like, Soldiers fight for their country. You're not fighting for Jamaica. You're entering a singing competition for yourself. Yeah, but but uh, but if he wins, everybody flying their flag all over the place, though. Listen, man. People are more concerned about this youth man's sexuality than they're concerned about the situation that just happened with the 79-year-old woman. Or 70, however much she is. There will be more of an outcry and an outrage about Dalton look like him sitting in a demand lap in a picture. And people will take to social media to stop supporting him, to erase his, his picture and his name, to leave nasty derogatory comments. But on the news sites that report stuff like 79-year-old... Um, Caucasian American woman gone missing. Two days later, found in a shallow grave, her car stolen, still not recovered. The same people will go, oh well. It happens everywhere. On to the next. But they'll tear the roof off a building. Oh, man, I support the bus boy, bus boy, that bus, bus boy, if it does. Just said, God said. And then they draw for Bible said on God said on. And this is where I realize. I don't want to say it's hopeless because the glass is almost always half full for me. Right. And I've never told anyone to stop going to Jamaica. I don't know where people get this from because I myself go to Jamaica all the time. I'm. Uh, let me hold my time. I'm not going to tell my business, but I go in and out of Jamaica. Right. I don't, and my whole, my family is there. I don't tell people not to go. I tell people to be cautious when they move. Just like being cautious everywhere else. But I have to be honest with myself though. I've, I mean, many times I've slept with my door open in the part where I live in the U.S. Both in Florida and in Texas. Many times. And nothing happened. Now, am I here not cautious and thinking I'm in heaven and nothing goes wrong here? I'm fully aware of what goes on here, man. I'm fully aware of racism. I'm fully aware of the black man might be the next, um, is likely to be a victim um, of some weirdo police that doesn't like black people, some KKK member that's hiding in a police uniform. I'm fully aware of uh, my own out here on the streets gang banging, or I'm fully aware of when I walk in a room or when I walk in a building or when I walk down the street, I'm fully aware of how my black brothers smile at white people they don't even know, wave to them or are courteous. Even when I go to the store, grocery store, if I'm checking out, hi, how may I help you? Yes, do you need this as well? How, did you find everything all right? That's, that's black people for you. And then when you get there next, hey, man, how you doing? Yeah. Like a lot of the times, and I've seen it, even going down the street, we screw each other, screw face, mean mug, but we smile for white folks. I see it all the time. So I'm, I'm fully aware of what it is, where I'm at. And I don't want people to think I'm putting down, I don't want to go on no long rant this morning. I don't want people to think I'm putting down Jamaica for some other foreign country. I'm the one that said, make sure, you, you hear what Buja said? Things change now. The sister times hard. Why you never send no money come my yard? You're rich. You spend the whole life abroad. Squander your money now. You're living like dog. But you make sure and put fee mouth where his money is and money where his mouth is. And make. And now he's in a position where he's going to be sent home. He's going to be sent home and he's going to be fine. A lot of us, if we're to be sent home right now, we would have to start from scratch. Zero. Square one. But we're on social media pretending that we're good and straight. Go on my yard here. I'll make sure everything is all right there with you. Familiarize yourself with the place. Know what's going on there. For sure. Definitely. Move 
with caution. That's what I'm saying. And also, make sure that you stay in contact with Jamaica. If you're a Jamaican, now this lady, she's not a Jamaican. She loved Jamaica enough to retire there. People are going to say, no, she never loved Jamaica enough. Enough. She loved what she could have get for her pension money. She owned the business there as far as I'm told. She purchased a house there. That's a commitment to your economy. And that's an ode in itself to her thinking, and I say, man, regardless of what people are saying, as long as you keep yourself out a certain way, certain places, and certain people, business, you'll be all right. But I keep, I, and I, I try to tell myself that that's true, but I keep seeing it's not so. People that are frail, people that aren't in anybody's business are being victimized, man. And it just get, it just leaves another black eye on the face and another bloody nose on the face of Jamaica, the brand Jamaica. Me tired of foreign people that ask me about, yo, Jamaica? Whoa, it's dangerous there. You're from there? Like, yeah, it's dangerous here. But how can you tell them it's dangerous here when the state that they live in your murder rate from your little island triples that murder rate in the state they live in and their demographic, there are three times the amount of people in that state than is in your country. How can you tell people that, well, where you live is dangerous too. I'm so through with all that though, but you know, the most I shine his light on us again another day. The sun is coming through the window means time to go inside the building, so flow. Time for go get your money. Go get your daily bread. Take care of your children. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Respect yourself. Honor yourself. And then love, respect, and honor others. Yes? Blessed morning, people. And have a wonderful and blessed day. Manners and respect. Up. 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 Remember what that means. Wake up, up, wise up, up, rise up, rise up out of your conditions, yeah, rise up, wake up, wise up, and rise up, I'm out, peace.